Hey everybody, this is Matt Freemat, scratching like crazy, got some stuff in my skin for some reason. Uh, getting that time of year, some allergies, what have you. Not whining about it, getting all of my life. Well, I did want to make a quick video today. I was um, remembering that I saw an article in Slate, it was regarding race and... Uh, Congress. It was from Mary Harris, uh, March the 9th of this year, just uh, yesterday. And it, the title of the, the article was a question. It was, why do so many Congress members have no staffers of color? And obviously, I, the funny thing is, even though I'm, I'm anti-woke, and I honestly, I, I don't lose any sleep over most things like that. I, I did want to look at this article, and it, it's my response to a question, which wasn't even a question, was, I think you're overthinking things. And I will tell you, look, this is one time we can look past statistics and look at logic. I love some statistics, but maybe some logic. Of course, um... Like everybody, their uncle has a podcast that does better than the Freemat podcast. I don't care. Before we go anywhere, remember to subscribe. Hit the notification all the way down the bottom. You'll find contact information. Send me hate mail in the description. Also, there's a link. I will not steal the ideas from Mary herself. But you don't be a Mary and listen to this podcast. Um, of course, with a little bit of fluff at the beginning, she talks about that, you know, the people behind these legislatures, legislators, that's even better when you don't have a speech impediment, not making fun of people with speech problems. I'm just having those days. All right. Um, talked about, you know, a, a survey researcher about top positions. They said that. In the House, there were just 14 of these jobs are held by people of color. In the Senate, where staff sizes, staff sizes are even larger, it's just 11%. And of course, she goes, this lack of diversity is apparent on both sides of the aisle. If the people staffing a legislator's office aren't representative, how representative can their policies be? And obviously, I'm looking past what... Uh, the person they had on is Maya King. Uh, no beef with this person yet, but I did want to tell you that, of course they talk about all the members of Congress that are from non-white backgrounds. It says they, they tend to understand the issues and they tend to have more diverse staffs. And of course he said part of the reason they ran for office is they didn't see themselves in these spaces. Um, can't have any really big beefs with that, but I did want you to look at something that I'm going to say it before they can. They pick people that they could trust in the positions. They pick people that they knew or they owed favors to. They didn't pick some random guy from their neighborhood. It's not like it used to be in the 1700s. They pick people they can trust. They pick people they owe favors to. And sometimes it's old codgy people, lobbyists, uh, somebody they owed a solid to. Sometimes they do things just to keep people off their backs. And you know what? It happens. Okay, um, of course Mayor Harris says, If I asked you to tell up how many chiefs of staff on Capitol Hill are people of color, could you do it? And of course... Yes, I could, because it would just take two hands. All right. Irrelevant. It's irrelevant. It's, I don't, I, I, I want people to get past looking at somebody and pointing out that they're some color. All right. It, can you trust somebody? Do, they, do you have some type of background with these people? Do you, do you understand what kind of process they use? Uh, are they a fan of my, uh, you know, Free market economics. Are they a Mysian school? Uh, do they belong to that? Were they some Frankfurt school Marxist lunatic? Think about that. 
Of course, it says uh, those who do not have people killer top staffing positions would point to the House of Office of Diversity and Inclusion. And look, we work with these offices. We plan to review the resumes of people of color qualified and plan to pop prioritize those applicants. So, and you know what? It is buck passing. Of course, I think that was eh, Mary or the other lady had said, it sounds a little like passing the buck at the end. Of course. You know why? Because they literally want to hire people they know and they trust. Or it's somebody's kid. Most, let's see, the reason why I didn't get a job and they passed over my resume when I got out of service, because they owed somebody's kid a job. They didn't go to Mucklug Junior College and find a greasy, bearded-looking monster from third shift who's covered in metal scraps. They didn't want him. They either wanted some cutesy chick or somebody they owed a favor to. Uh, Thad, was it Thad McFatterson or whatever Aaron Clary calls him? Yeah, life sucks. If you don't have connections, it sucks. It doesn't matter what color you are, it sucks. You know what? Plenty of white people don't get picked. Let's move on. Okay, it says since hiring is a cap and the capital is driven by elected officials, it's also driven by their biases. The biases like, I owe somebody a solid, or I want Thaddeus McFatterson's you know, kid here, or, as I said, sorry, the cute girl syndrome. Is it a, it's, of course it says it's a cultural issue. Whoops. You know what? Fight. I'm going to tell you, fight. Get in office on the smallest level, fight. Fight on the local level. Fight here, fight there, fight them in the streets, fight them on the beaches. Not physically, I meant like politically, mentally. Use your brain. And of course they talk about structures and bias and rules and... Oh, mercy. Here's the thing. No. Just look past that. If you can create your own game, don't cry about somebody else's game. Or you can fight smarter. It isn't fight harder. It isn't get in the streets and start rioting. And yes, I'm actually talking about the capital rioters. They didn't do crap. They quit fighting. They quit fighting here. Of course, it's a, of course, you know, in some great virtue signaling, you've noted that even though Democrats t do tend to hire more diverse staffers than Republicans, they have a hard time retaining and promoting staffers of color. Can we talk about why that is? They move on. They went and got another job. Found a job at another agency. Uh, I mean, what else? Of course, they're like, oh, there's a policy brain drain. Of course, there's nobody here to replace this person. Just pick the right person. Pick the person you can trust, and they're smart. I mean, that's. I mean, why why can we not understand this? I mean, it goes on and talks about you know looking at uh, how much money can people make, you know, uh, structural limitations of our budget. Of course, they appropriate less and less money for offices and staff. It means that you don't have the flexibility to give someone a little more money when they need it or maintain someone as your chief of staff when the White House comes calling as deeper pockets. Okay. You act like you haven't had to do a, a bottom-level job to move your way up. Do, d does anybody understand that? Do you? Do you? I mean, a barrier to entry? Yeah, like, I... Yeah, I'm going to have to support somebody. I couldn't take certain jobs. I couldn't go chasing after the band. And this is like the band. You can't chase after the band. I'm sorry. Save up money. Have a support system. If you can't, don't. And you know what? We don't need to fix a system for that. Sorry. You don't win. People lose. I lost. You lose. Okay. Start your, new, st start your own game. Let's get on with our lives. They talk about making big gambles about being on somebody's campaign, the barriers to entry. They talked about it's a lot for a young person to go through. Hours are long and grueling. Okay. Hmm. Join the military if you like long hours of grueling where you might not get promoted. I know plenty of people who did that. I don't cry for you. It's life. 
I want to get uh, says I want to get into why staff diversity matters. How about you just pick the right people that that understand your background? You 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 pick these people that are smart enough, they're savvy, they know the system, they know how to dance, they know how to deal with people, social skills. You know why I didn't get picked? Because I don't have the social skills. I have my filters different. I, I don't have the political connections. I don't have these connections. I'm not buddy buddy. I'd rather uh, dealing with some of these people. I'd rather not. How about that? And of course, they talked about you know talking about pay tech. Uh, of course, uh, um, I mean a rigmarole about businesses and who owned what and you know the these people had to close because they're. It was tougher on them, the credit, and it's, look, a lot of culture has to do with why people's credit stinks, and why it's harder for them to do things, and why people don't have a stronger support system, they have a tougher time trying to get, get on with their lives. And you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a blast here with this one, because they talk about, is this, this, this meandering piece talked about crafting a policy about addressing issues they said about addresses hate crimes against Asian Americans reparations sure you know what if, if you want to bring up race and you want to be a victim or you want to cry about stuff just feel free to you can you can but here's the thing you can get on with your life you can fight behind the scenes find what works Find the people who want to deal with you. Don't deal with people who don't want to deal with you. The little sniveling plot, pu plots, the sniveling putts that worked for my congressman, I have nothing to do with these people. Do I want to work with somebody that has some, like, skinny nerd who freaking cries? So he, he sounds like he should have, he sounds like he was a reject off of the Big Bang Theory. All right? He couldn't roll. He couldn't, he couldn't do half the crap I do. And here's the thing, I'll tell you, if, if somebody doesn't like you, screw them, man. Find people who do like you. And you know what? I might like you. Hell, we might be on polar opposites. You might be, a, a, you might be a, on the left, and you might even be a wokest, but you could even be a loving person. And you know what? You can do that in your own life and, and, and where you work. Now, that's my challenge to you. Just get on with your life. And you know what? Just... Uh, as always, feel free to uh, like, subscribe, notifications, uh, hate email down there, and I mean, come on, folks, get on with your life, all right? Thank you for stopping by. Take care.